Hi, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will show you how to make this custom 3D printed keychain in Design Spark Mechanical. This is how the design looks like, and we will make a new one starting by click this file new design. Okay, now we will start making a rectangle. So click here, and then we will click here, and I will type in 80 to 30 so meaning we will make a rectangle with 80 millimeters length and 30 millimeters wide and then after that i will click this one 3d mode or you can also press button d on your keyboard and then i will drag and extrude by two millimeters so i will type in two and press enter so now we have this solid here i will click this one home okay now we have the basic shape to work on and first we will need to make the corners more round so i will click here and then drag and then input five okay and i'll do the same thing for the other three but this time i'll do for all three of them so i'll press ctrl and click the other corners and then type in again after dragging type in five now press home and click select we have this shape now and after that we will click here and then this is the method that we can use in design spark mechanical to add text to solid object so we will click this one dimension and it will show this new annotation plane I will click here and it will show the dimension of this line so this line length is 20 millimeters I will click here to put the text at about the center of the object okay and then I will press V on my keyboard so I will have a top view and now we will we can move this text around so we will just put at about the middle of this uh, solid and then we will change the text so not 20 millimeters but we will put text in it I will uh, click inside this box and then press ctrl A so we select all the text inside and then I will type in something so in this case I'm going to maybe W3 sorry 3de okay and then uh, again I will press ctrl a and then right click now I can select the font that I'm going to use so in this case I'm going to use stencil okay and then uh, we will use a larger font so uh, for this kind of uh, object or thing it's better to use a larger font if you use too small font it will be difficult for the printing process later on so in this case if I'm using 10 it's still uh, too small compared to the solid so I'm going to uh, again control a so I'm going to type in here maybe 30 uh, still some space so I'll type in 35 okay and uh, for this one I will use an italic uh, yeah like this and then I will click outside of this box okay and then I'll click here again and then put or uh, position this text uh, maybe a bit to the right because I want to put a hole here for the chain okay now yes like this and now we will need to project this text to the solid because if we hide this annotation plane there's nothing on this solid surface so we will project this one and to do that again click here and then I will press ctrl A just to make sure and then click this one project and then I will press alt button on my keyboard and then click here at the surface of the solid and then it's going to turn a darker shade of blue that you can click this one the complete icon 
takes a while to process and now if we hide the annotation plane it will show this uh, shape on the surface of the solid and we can work on it so you can extrude to add more uh, thickness or uh, in this case I'm going to make it uh, uh, something like this so I will click pull and then extrude cut as holes okay also this one and this ones done so now we have this basic uh, keychain custom keychain and then we'll add a hole here for the chain to lock into the uh, solid so in this case I will first I will click select and then click here and then I will click this one circle and then put the circle here I think it's about at this point with the uh, diameter maybe three okay and then click here so the diameter will also depends on the chain that you are going to use if it's a larger chain then you will need to put more number in the diameter okay I will click here and then uh, for this one I will uh, you can just drag and now we have the hole for the chain okay that's all for now I hope you enjoy this tutorial have fun and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you again in the next video bye